I'm fully aware this is not my usual content, but hear me out. Um, it's been like a week, a little over, since I've uploaded. Got to freaking upload something, and uh, it's really getting difficult to do the, uh, you know, the 2K stuff, editing down an hour and a half worth of footage. Uh, I just started another job, you know, so I have two of them now. This one's, you know, it's not like a crazy amount of hours, but it's definitely pretty involved. So, it's just been a struggle. I haven't been able to watch much of the NBA. Uh, I mean, outside of my Hawks and my Florida Gators basketball team, because football is relevant to me now. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to do something kind of chill. I wanted to do something that I wanted to, you know, because I haven't really gotten to do a whole lot of that lately. So, Pro Basketball Manager 2022. Actually super involved game. Like, this is just, it's insane the level of detail that this game goes into. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's insane. So, you've got, you know, I, I don't even know where to begin. You have full-on tactics where you can, you know, let's say Clint Capella, I don't want him taking three-point shots at all, which is the case. Don't want him to do that, so I can put it on a void. Bogdan Bogdanovich, I want him to shoot threes at will. He's trying to be one of the better three-point shooters in the league. Trey Young, everywhere except inside shooting because that rating is pretty low for him. Uh, you'll notice the names are also a little messed up. That's because they don't have rights, obviously. So uh, the scale is normally 20. I put it to 100 to make things a little more familiar. And you'll see uh, the inside shooting is at 35. Uh, so I obviously didn't have him shoot at will there. It'd be pretty ugly. But you have training. Like I want Bogdanovich to be training as an outside shooter. Or I could have him specifically work on three-point shooting. And I could have him learn another position. That is super cool. Kevin Herter doesn't know how to play small forward currently. So he's going to learn how to do small forward. And that's just, this whole thing is just really cool. Uh, where's John Collins? He can't play, he can't play center right now. So he's going to learn center. And I have him learning playmaking. You got the schedule, rankings, trades. And the, the way the trades work is like, okay, here's an example. Boston. I will give you Jalen Johnson. In return, you give me, uh, I don't know. Let's do a trade that will get probably declined. Give me Aaron Neesmith and a second-round pick. Okay. Cool. Salaries, I think, match. I can't really tell. Yep. Then it sends, and then you get an answer within a few days. Or, you know, in some length of time. I think that's pretty cool. Finances is pretty in-depth, too. You can control a lot of stuff in this. Facilities. You can change the seats. You can change what type of seats they are, from benches to plastic seats to the fancy upholstered ones, the price of the seats, how many shops are in the thing, cheerleaders, announcers, and mascots, and what level you want to have those at. Atlanta used to have an exceptional, an exceptional announcer in Ryan Cameron. Rest in peace. He's gone. He's not dead, but uh, they fired him for some stupid freaking reason. You can also send your scout on scouting trips. I've already sent him on one to America. Uh, let's just send one to Spain. Send him to Spain for a month. We can look at all positions, uh, but not free agents. And it has a cost for the trip. And then you just send him. And he comes back in a month and he's got this report put together for you. And then all that kind of other stuff. And then you got free agents, not only from, you know, like America and the NBA free agency pool, but you've also got international players and in what I can assume are some auto-generated ones. And then you have prospects who are 
guys that are likely to be they're going to be in the upcoming draft. It says they're free agents, but obviously you can't just sign 17-year-olds. But yeah, this game seems pretty cool. I bought it like an hour ago. So I do want to there's also supposed to be like a 3D simulation kind of of the games, which is kind of freaking cool. And I want to go to our game day. Oh, and as you can see, uh, trade refused. Aaron Neesmith in a draft pick for Jalen Johnson. Uh, whatever. I didn't really care. I kind of just did it for the for giggles. So, players, tactics. Do I have my minutes all set? Yes, I do. And DeAndre Hunter, for whatever reason, is like a one-star thing, which is kind of freaking crazy, but whatever. And Danilo Gallinari, can I make him? Oh, okay. Danilo Gallinari, sixth man. Okay, I see that now. And you can also have more of like a five-out offense. We're probably going to do... Why does it have John Collins just... Oh, okay, so that means you play, okay, I didn't even know that. I've never played this game before. But next game, how do I play the games? Ooh. This is what I wanted to try out. And you can change the starters and everything. And Two and a half vert. Yeah, I mean, the. I don't think the, I don't think this is going to be too great. And the graphics, they're not going to be anything like super crazy. Got the offensive tactics, defensive tactics. Um. Yeah, this is going to be kind of crazy. I want... You to guard Bobby Portis. I want Clint Capella guarding Giannis. Obviously. What is this one? Oh, like Colin plays. You got the stats. You've got a play by play, I can assume. The players on the floor. Settings. The camera. We're just going to do TV. You also have the sound. Okay. So how do I get the game started? That is the question. There we go. And this is something that, I mean, it's not, obvi it's obviously not great, but it's something that you can actually like watch the team that you're playing, even though it is kind of just generic little, you know, things going on. It's something, you know, because that's what brings me back to 2K so often is sometimes I want to play with the team that I've built. Uh, this may not be as satisfying, but it is what it is for a pretty small, I think it's made by Unix. And from what I've heard, this is Clint Capella making a, mid-range jumper by the way um but from what i've heard this is a huge step up from the previous game i think i saw the last one and it wasn't great and this still might not be your cup of tea i for one love the managing stuff more than really anything else that's just that's just me like i love being a gm i love doing all that kind of stuff and it's, it's just cool to me. So. And I'm probably going to put this on like four times. What is it? Oh, it pauses the game when you look at the stats too. That's kind of nifty. Trey Young has three points right now. 
Chris Middleton has hit three threes in the first quarter. And we're only a few minutes in. I'm going to need him to stop. And I have Cam Reddish. He is... Oh, defensive foul on Capella. I have uh, Cam Reddish training to be a slasher type. Because I just, you know, I need him to do something. Good Lord. Oh, that's the sound for a block. Trey has eight points in the quarter. Giannis only has four points. Trey got blocked by Drew Holiday. Oh, and they have, okay. I mean, we're still pretty close, but they have, you know, like the runs like you see on TV and everything. <clears throat> this is pretty cool for like a general. I do maybe wish there was a bit faster than four times. It is going by pretty, pretty fast still. But I would like it to be a little faster maybe. If I were to simulate a whole game, although maybe it takes five minutes, but John Collins has been relatively quiet. Four points, three rebounds, an assist, a steal. Trey Young, eight points. Middleton has got 13 in the quarter. He's going absolutely crazy, and we're still tied up somehow. So I'll take it. Oh, that's right. Semi Ojale is on the Bucks now and breaking shots as usual. Goodness, I've never seen more traveling calls in a game before. Oh, that's right. you got to, like, manage rotations and stuff. That's nuts. We're going to put John Collins at the five. We're going to put Gallinari at the four. Uh, Reddish is going to come out for Herter. And we're going to keep the backcourt in. So... Currently, Gallinari is in. Well, I guess, actually, they. Oh, end of the quarter. Collective instructions. Oh, you get, like, little sayings and stuff. Ooh. Bogdanovich has two fouls. Calm down, buddy. Stop. Stop doing that. Keep up the hard work. Great job. Uh, anybody else in foul trouble? No. But Bogdanovich has got to go. Kevin Herter. And we'll put DeAndre Hunter at the small forward. And who do we? Oh, uh, that's right. We have a Kongwa. I forgot. He's injured in real life. So. But now we can start the second quarter. And Trey Young is still playing. Goodness. He'll have to come out eventually. Hey, but as long as he's scoring for scoring, I'll I'll take it. He's on fire too, so. But his his uh his stamina is gonna start getting real low. Kevin Herter, it's nice to see him slashing. He's had a slow start in real life. Semi Ojale. Above the break three. I think not, sir. I'm going to go ahead and get the substitution ready for Trey Young. Lou Williams is going to have to come in. John Collins is getting back up there in stamina. Now, this is where we're going to have a problem, probably. Who's on the floor for them right now? I wonder if there's a way to see that. But we're doing fine so far. We're still up by one point. I take that back. They're just absolutely killing us. They are killing us. Oh, I can't see who's on the floor. Why does it have... Man, these, these matchups are weird. I'll take it, though. Lou Williams is getting his buckets. And Giannis is bricking his uh his threes. John Collins can go ahead and come in for 
Onyeka Kongwu. I guess Trey Young is about to come back in too. Makes sense. Kevin Herter can probably co come out for Bogdanovich, even though he has two fouls. And then we'll try to play a little bit of small ball. And Gallinari's secondary position is listed at small forward. Uh, it'll be a cold day in hell before I play him at small forward. Like, you're just not going to see it. Start of the fourth quarter here, and uh, the third took a took a turn for the worse. Uh, Chris Middleton has twenty six, has made six threes. Drew Holiday's got fifteen. Semi Ojale, it's the Semi Ojale game. That's what it is. Trey Young is seven for twenty. That's definitely not helping, and um, we're just kind of not playing that good outside of Trey Young. I mean, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of guys. There's not even anybody else in double digits. There's a there. It's really even shot distribution. So I guess I can see it. I don't know how Jalen Johnson's made it on the floor, considering I have him at zero minutes. But it's looking like the Hawks are trying to make a comeback here. They are already within 11 after being almost down 20. Make that 13. But Kevin Herter pulls it to within 10. Goodness, man. Goodness, they are killing us from three. And the fast break points have just killed us. And Giannis is making threes. Holy crap. It was within 11 at some point, and then they come and just demolish us. Trey Young is not done yet. He's got 21 points. And goodness, man. Giannis has got a jumper in this, I guess. Gallinari has four fouls. Wow. Okay, so Capella needs to come back in. And can we get Cam Reddish back in here? 
Where's Cam? And we need Bogdan back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout. If they'll ever call it. When are they going to call the timeout? <laughs> I need to get my starters back in the game, bruh. Hello? Hey, I guess we're just uh, rocking with the bench for the rest of the game. That's really weird. Now they want to give me the timeout? That's really weird. No, not that one. No, once you pick it, you can't change it. All right, then. You guys can be sad if you want to. That's fine. All right, guys, come on. Still within reach. They brought it back down to 11. Now it's a single-digit lead. Jalen Nawara, or is it Jaden Nawara? Why do they have the bench in? Trey Young's got 26. John Collins has got 13. 15. He's really been a big deal in this fourth quarter. If Man, we cannot let Kelly, o Kelly Ojale, Semi Ojale, kill us. This is getting ridiculous. Dang. Bucks are almost in the bonus, but it's also only like three minutes to go. We need the ball in Trey Young's hands. We just we need the ball in his hands. Goodness, we just can't get a stop. We just cannot get a stop. Goodness. All right, I'm sticking with the lineup that we currently have. John Collins has been good for us in this fourth quarter. Let's please get this victory, please. I mean, it's just preseason. Fast break. Capella smokes the open layup. Oh, my gosh. Bogdanovich saves us. Capella. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can't get over that. Seven-point lead for the Bucks. They've been relatively quiet these last couple minutes. Knock on wood. Trey Young misses a shot. We got to play better defense. Only a minute left. That's a huge miss. Trey Young's got to take us home. He makes the shot there. Five points. Five points. And Giannis has got the put back in the offensive rebound. Was that Cam Reddish or was that that was Cam Reddish? Okay. Classic Cam taking clutch shots. But uh, it's looking like this game is over. Capella smokes another offensive rebound put back. Middleton st uh, pats his stats. And the game is over. Preseason game, lost by seven. All in all, not too bad. Chris Middleton had a 30-piece on us. Collins had 14. I wonder if there's any way we can see that full box score. Probably here. Yep, here we go. And uh, Trey Young, 30 points, 13 for 30. Four for 14 from three. Uh, horrible efficiency from him. John Collins, 15 on nine shots. One for four from three, not great. Bogdanovich, 14. He did okay. He didn't shoot as many threes as I'd really want him to. Capella, 10 points, 10 shots. Smoked a few shots at the rim. Then the shot distribution was really even. I wonder if there's a way to kind of not do that. Chris Middleton had 30. Semi Ojale had 22, hit four threes on us. That's insane. Giannis only had 17 points, and we still lost. That's insane. And then George Hill, he was pretty all right off the bench. And everyone else, I mean... Middleton just killed us. He kept him in that first quarter, put him up, and uh, that third quarter is what killed us. Holy crap, we were outscored by 15. 
So that's crazy. I kind of liked that. That was fun. That was fun. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. I just kind of wanted to chill, you know, do something different, you know. So if you got this far, this is probably going to be a longer video. I really appreciate it. It's uh, It's really cool. I'm liking this. So if you did enjoy it, you know, let me know. We can talk about some more, I guess. But till the next one, I'll catch you guys later.